Prince Harry arrived at Birmingham's Queen Elizabeth Hospital today, and seemed a little nervous when he came face to face with a crying baby. The Duke of Sussex, 34, visited the Institute of Translational Medicine and was introduced to five-week-old baby James Chalmers and his mother Cornelia. After leaning in to give the little baby a tickle on his back, the father-to-be, almost jumped when the youngster let out a wail, before taking a step back. The baby's dad JJ then told Harry, it's your turn next, to which the royal, who is expecting his first child with Meghan in late April, flashed a cheeky grin. But it was a different story when he left the hospital, as Prince Harry received a warm welcome from staff, with one eager well-wisher even throwing her arms around him. Harry appeared delighted as uniformed staff and well-wishers lined the streets and he was more than forthcoming as he received the offer of a hug. Others watched on and took their cameras out to capture the endearing moment, before the royal then offered out his hand to others keen to meet him. Harry visited the Scarfree Foundation Center for Conflict Wound Research to learn more about the work they do. The center aims to minimize the psychological and physical impact of scarring among armed forces personnel injured in service and civilians wounded in terrorist attacks. During his visit, Prince Harry tried out addressing impregnated with decorin protein to aid in scar healing. It was the second of two visits during a busy day of work engagements for the soon-to-be dad as he embarked on his Birmingham tour. Earlier today, the Duke of Sussex officially dedicated a memorial to the British victims of the 2015 Tunisia terrorist attacks. He attended the ceremony at Birmingham's Cannon Hill Park, alongside the families of the victims. The memorial was a focus of remembrance for those killed in two separate attacks on the Bardo Museum in Tunis on March 18, and a hotel beach resort in Sousse on June 26. Addressing an audience of about 200 family and friends of those who died, Prince Harry said, in memory of all those who lost their lives. And to the families whose lives were changed forever by these events. I would like to pay my deepest respects to you and officially dedicated this memorial to your loved ones. Holding a single white rouse, he then turned and walked to the memorial's centerpiece, where he laid the flower.